Satnam Aloha. So this week we have the channel of community defined. So this is the 40th gate is in the sun position and the 37 is in the earth position. And that's going to sit there until next Friday, September 3rd. So this is a, uh, a tribal channel, and it describes how we work together in community, which is going through radical changes right now, right? Tribal consciousness is, is uh, dissolving. So it's the shadow of exhaustion with the shadow of weakness. So questions will come up like, will I be supported by the community I serve with my contribution? Right? Who does or who doesn't have access to my energy and time? So it could be a time where you feel really compelled to set boundaries. So you see here that the 37 is coming off the solar plexus center, and that's our emotions. And this is solar plexus is going through a huge mutation as we evolve, which I talk about in my 2027 Solar Plexus Mutation six-hour webinar. So check that out if you haven't watched it already. And then we have the 40th coming off the heart center. Okay, so this creates the channel of community. So you want to get out your chart and see if you have this channel or if you have the 37 or the 40. Right, so click the link in the information box below the video, and you want to take note. Okay, so take note if you've got a defined heart center or not. So if it's colored in, that means it's defined, and if it's not colored in, it's white, that means it's open. Okay, so put the video on pause and get your video, your uh, chart if you haven't gotten it already, and then come back. Okay, so this is your natal chart. It's just like astrology. This is your natal chart. So the neutrino stream is an information field that moves mainly from the sun to our earth. And it penetrates all solid objects, including us. So it has weight. That means it has information. So this creates a transit that influences our thoughts, our behaviors, and our energy field. So right now, because it's defined right now, you're going to be influenced by this channel, right? Even if it's not defined natally, right? You're going to be influenced by it. So the danger here is that you may fall prey to acting or making your decisions from this transit because it won't be correct for you because it isn't authentic to you. You don't have it. So this is why it's so important right now for you to know yourself. Know your authentic self so that you don't get battered around, right, from the intense energies that are fighting for power and control on our planet right now. We really have to know ourselves. So the heart center. Well, this rules willpower, right? Uh, and what's interesting about this heart center is that only 30% of the population have it defined, colored in. Right, So it rules will, our willpower, the material world, and our sense of self-worth. So I want to give some of the qualities of the center so that you don't act out in it, uh, from an inauthentic place that drains your energy. So what does this mean? It means acting out of an inauthentic place is using your mind as your authority, listening to your mind to make your decisions. So when you're in the transit, right, and you're in this transit and it's not who you are, right, so your heart center is open, the transit defines it, but it's not who you are. Well, what happens is the mind gets in there and it starts to trash talk, right? The mind will start to trash talk. So what do you do when you hear someone trash talking, right? If they tell you to do something, are you going to do it? No, you don't listen to them because you know that they're lying and they're full of it, right? Well, the same goes when your mind, with your own mind. When it starts trash talking, when it starts going, which it will do this week because of this transit. So remember, this doesn't apply to you if your heart center is defined, right? That's only 30% of you out there. Leave in the comments, though, if you're defined. 
and I'll reply. And also, if uh, it's undefined, put it in the comments. So basically, people with an open heart center, they don't value themselves, right? 70% of the population. Just do the math right there. They don't value themselves on this planet. So let's look at the trash talk. And these are the thoughts that will come up. And this is how you know you're in this uh, transit field, okay? And you don't want to be making your decisions from the mind. Okay, so thoughts like, I must be in control of this situation. If I look like I'm in control and I look like I've got it all together, I can prove my worth to others. I have to brag about my accomplishments so that other people will like me. I can do anything. I've got the personal willpower to do this and more. I can do this. If I show them how trustworthy I am, then they'll admire me. They think I can do this, so I better prove that I can. Right? So you don't want to be acting from these thoughts at all. So let's look at the phony habits. And this is what drains you, right? The inauthentic self, phony habits with this open center. Making big promises that you can't keep. Feeling unworthy and undervalued being insecure in the material world, being stingy with your spending, right? Not spending money, difficulty charging money for your services or undervaluing your worth, right? So charging way too little. Workaholism, right? So using your personal will, driven by a lack of self-worth, again, trying to prove yourself. Or competitive and comparing yourself to others. You fight the river, right? You fight that universal flow. And what does this do? It damages your immune system, your heart, right? You may get stomach problems or issues with the gallbladder, all those things. So you want to avoid all those habits, right, if your heart center is open. So let's look at the authentic habits, and these elevate you. This is who you really are. Well, you know not to make big promises to people. And what I love myself, because I have an open heart center, is I give myself time and space. Hey, that's a, a great idea. If somebody asks me something, let me get back to you. Let me sleep on it. Right, Time and space. Give yourself time and space. Because you're out to get out of... You're not only influenced by the transit, but you're influenced by people who have a defined ego. So when you or heart center. So you're not only uh, influenced by the transit, but you're also influenced by people who have a defined heart center. Okay, so this is about getting out of their aura, so they can feel your own energy. So having a healthy sense of self-worth and worthiness, having no need whatsoever to prove yourself to anyone, and having the wisdom about who can make commitments and promises and the ones who put their you know, the ones who put their money where their mouth is, right? So you'll know who's talking from their ego and who isn't. Enjoy, and also enjoying riding on the energy of defined egos that you can let go of any time. So you can also ride the energy of this time that we're in right now, right? Through this transit, you can use that energy. And also loving to spend the moolah, loving to spend money. Okay, so those are things to consider uh, for this uh, week. So if you really want to begin, right, I invite you to start this work, right, through my six-week inner child program or the Healing the Mother Wound webinar series over six hours with meditations and tools. That's all there for you. And also there will be a Saturn and Healing the Father Wound webinar series, and that's starting live September 19th and the 26th. Okay, so be aware of that. And here's a few signs of the father wound. And we're totally seeing this out in the world. Not feeling supported by others. People letting you down. Driven to compete or uh, compare yourself with others. Or people co competing with you. Feeling alone and isolated. 
challenge to set boundaries and stand up for yourself, lack of self-confidence, lack of self-respect, right? Not believing in yourself, feeling inadequate and insecure, not good enough, needing to be perfect, issues with authority, rebellious or giving your power away, trust issues with men, right? Reactive to any kind of criticism, difficulty making decisions, issues with procrastination. There are a few signs that you have some father issues to deal with, okay? And not only that, I mean, it affects your relationship with the divine, you know? So again, this is good work to do, and it's working with the emotional body. So be sure to sign up now to hold your spot, and I'll be adding more information this week, okay? So check out my recorded readings, too. Links are all uh, found below. And I'm also asking for your prayers, okay, for me and Buji, my little dog. We have to find a place to live very, very soon. And on the external, I mean, it looks completely impossible. But I have faith that the divine can provide an affordable, simple, quiet, peaceful home to support my work right now. I live very simply, okay? So I would really appreciate your prayers. And I know that this is a big part of my healing. So I'm doing my best to integrate any part of me that feels separate and abandoned by the, the divine, right? I'm really digging deep into those areas in myself. But prayers are very much appreciated. And I pray for you every single day. It's part of my sadhana, okay? So thank you. Thank you for everybody out there supporting my work in uh, all the ways that you do. In other ways, if you can't aff afford to to support, then you can subscribe. You can ring the bell and you can share. That's a way of supporting me. And leave your comments below. You can follow me on Telegram, Instagram, uh, Odyssey, BitChute, Facebook. And better yet, sign up for my free newsletter so that we stay connected if these platforms go down. Okay? And you can do that at the, at the very top. And also, um, I'm, there's uh, some information that you get for free when you sign up. So I'm fixing that uh, for 2027. So everybody who sent a, a message to me, just know that I'm fixing that. And I'll, uh, I'll be uh, responding to your email shortly. Okay? So enjoy your day and evening, and remember that everything and everyone in your life is assisting you in your awakening right now, right? So we want to travel light, we want to be the light, and we want to spread that light, okay? So I'll see you in the next video. Sat Namah